This is the NOAA device, mandibular advancement device from ortho apnea as it would arrive at a dental surgery. It's beautifully packaged. There's a bag for the patient to take the device away in. This is the box with the device. This one we will come to. Let's just take that out of the way. So as I say, this is the device itself. Open it up, magnetically closed lid there. The instruction manual, the NOAA. Here is the device itself and a little thing that we'll come to. Move that out of the way. So this is a very nice for the patient to keep their device in, in the bathroom. It's a CAD CAM manufactured mandibular advancement device to intraoral scans. So no Im sort of alginate impressions anymore. This is state of the art. So the, it has a, what's clever about this is it has a CAM mechanism here. And you can, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's got SP on there, I believe that is. Yes, SP sort of standard position, I, I predict. Um, so that would be the starting point, maybe that's what it means. That's the first first position to wear the device. And you can see that the, the lower jaw can move, there's a little bit of an opening, they're not locked in, so it's not going to give a, a trapped sensation. And they can open and close. It's, so that would be the starting point. It's very nice, beautifully smooth, it's well made. And you think, okay, so how do I adjust it? How do you titrate the patient? So what you've got are four lower devices. So what we can do, if you just see, I'll make it very clear, you can just, just flex it slightly, keep the, the upper device, and then you have interchangeable lower ones. So this should be the starting point. Now, if that's too aggressive for the individual, um, then you can reduce the protrusion slightly with uh, another lower, so drop back a little bit. If it's not enough protrusion, then you could swap out the lower for one that's a bit more advanced. Let's just pull that one out. And again, you've got a, you've got a, a third device. So a little bit more protrusion again. So let's just open this one up, have a squint. Probably better not mix these up. So I'm quite good at that. So this is the plus one lower. Yep, and it even has a, a plus one marking on it. So if I did manage to mix it up. A little bit of flex, there we go. So this has now, uh, it couldn't really be much easier. So a little bit more protrusion. And the same thing, a little bit of lateral movement, freedom to move the lower jaw. Yeah, doesn't impede the oral airway. Very nice. I like that. Let's just say the patient comes back, yeah, they're still snoring, or God forbid they've put some more weight on, and then we can advance the jaw again with the next device. Okay, so let's just pop that together for a moment and move that to one side. Now I touched on this, you think, what's this, a box of matches? No, it's not, it's actually a post wear device. So the first thing in the morning, when there's a sensation of the jaw not quite returning to the correct position, and there's a little discomfort perhaps in a, in a TMJ, then you can chew on this between the tips of the incisors in the, in the shower, a bit of heat and humidity and some motion, and that will help the lateral pterygoid to take up the slack and help disperse the fluid around the condylar head and, and alleviate that discomfort post wear. Quite clever and I think it's neat that it's included because that's one of the most common side effects other than uh, excess salivation uh, or dry mouth depending on the individual. So yeah, there it is. That is the NOAA device from Ortho Apnea.